What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Hangs with Rog. Uh, today we have a bit of a special episode. I like to call it, Have You Tried? And today the question is, Have You Tried Limbo? The point of this segment is to introduce you to games that you might have missed. So most of them will be games that have been out for a while, uh, but you might have looked over them for whatever reason. Maybe a bigger game has been... Uh, uh, came out at the same time or yeah whatever the reason may be I'm here to introduce you to the game show you what it's about and uh, hopefully help you make a decision from there Limbo was uh, developed back in July 2010 uh, as a platform exclusive title on Xbox Live Arcade uh, and then it was later re-released and uh, on various platforms like the PlayStation 3 uh, on the PC the PlayStation Vita, I believe it's uh, it's also available on iOS, uh, and I'm playing this on the PS4 now. It's also available on uh, Xbox One. The game was developed by a Danish game studio called Play Dead, and apparently the concept came to the developer back in 2004. But yeah, I'm sure you've, I'm sure most of you would have heard about Limbo. Uh, as I as I already said, it's been out for seven years now, and the most uh, the most notable thing about the game is that it's presented in black and white and they've done a fucking good job it is beautiful uh, not much of a storyline in this game you basically play as a little boy who uh, who lost his sister and uh, goes to limbo to to try and find out what's happened to her uh, now the game does not explain any of that stuff um, that's just from uh, doing a bit of research that i found it out uh, yeah so it's a it's a two disc side scroller you play as the little boy. First thing you'll notice is the the game doesn't hold your hand at all. Uh, there's no explanation on uh, controls. There's no you know intro or tutorial or anything. Uh, you start the game just like that. You wake up in the middle of a, what looks like a forest. You try to go find your sister. Like I said before, I'm playing on the PlayStation 4, so uh, I use X to jump, uh, Square to interact with objects. So you can push them, uh, hold on to two things, and uh, that's that's basically it. You have no weapons. You can't shoot your way out of uh, anything. Uh, yeah, you, you you get grabbed by something, you're fucked. And I'm showing you this game now. Uh, unfortunately, for you guys, uh, I've already finished the game. I, I finished it last week, uh, so I I kind of know my way around it. So I'll, I'll skip all the, the 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 traps and stuff because I know my way around it. Uh, later on, I'll, I'll show you one of the, the gruesome deaths that uh, can happen if you get fucked up by one of the traps or uh, or uh, whatever's uh, coming up next. Uh, now, if you know me at all, uh, you know that I hate spoilers. So I'm only showing you the, the first sort of five to ten minutes of the game. Won't spoil too much except for the start. So if you don't want to know anything about the game, probably stop watching now. I mean, nothing's happened yet. Um... But yeah, I don't want to spoil too much because this game is bloody great and uh, I want you all to, to have a great experience if you haven't tried the game yet. If you have tried it, let me know what you guys thought uh, in the comments below. And you haven't, if you haven't tried it, let me know why you haven't played, uh, if, you, if you don't think it's your, your kind of thing or whatever, uh, just let us know in the comments below. I, uh, I wanted to start this segment because... I played Limbo for the first time uh, last week at Finn's house. He had it on his PS4, and I thought, "Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a crack." I've, I've I've known about the game since it came out, but I, I never actually uh, got around to to playing through it. Now I started playing it. I got through maybe 15 to 20 minutes, and I thought, "Man, this game is fucking amazing. The puzzles are great." It looks beautiful. The sound design is amazing as well. So uh, I definitely recommend you guys try the game without my annoying voice, um, because uh, you'll you'll have a much better experience that way. Um, another thing that this game is known for is the gruesome deaths. Even though if it's in it's in 2D, it's a little side scroller. It's in black and white. Man, when that little boy dies, he gets fucked up. A little bit of a warning there. Um, if you don't like spiders probably stop watching now because what comes next um, spoilers it's a fucking spider so yeah the game features all these little clever puzzles like you see this spider and you 
Yeah, basically fucking stabs you with his leg if you try to get past him. Um, so because I've already done this, I know what to do, but it's not very obvious. I mean, like, you see this strap on top of that branch and you've got to think, okay, this guy's going to fucking stomp on the ground and that's going to... It's going to shake the ground and the, the, the bear trap's going to fall off the branch. And then you got to bring the fucking bear trap and that's how you fight the spider. Um, lots of, lots and lots of uh, little clever puzzles like that throughout the game. Uh, probably took me maybe three to four hours to complete it. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe one of, there we go, one of those uh, gruesome deaths I was telling you about. Um, yeah, he gets decapitated, he... Uh, yeah, you can get um, trapped in the in that bear trap there, things like that. It's just brutal. But yeah, like like I said, lots of clever puzzles. Um, that'll, you know, they they they're not they're not uh, they're not very obvious, and when you solve them, you feel like a fucking genius. So yeah, if right now you're feeling you're feeling like you're not a very smart person, and uh, you wanna you wanna kind of feel like you're gonna wanna feel better about yourself. Play a bit of limbo, solve those damn puzzles, and turn yourself into a fucking genius. That's pretty much all I'm going to say about the game, guys. Uh, just going to show you a little bit more of the gameplay, and uh, and uh, let you let you find out why uh, why this game is great for yourself. Currently, you can pick up Limbo on the the PlayStation 4 for $5.95 in Australia, $9.99 US dollars on Steam, or $13.45 Australian dollars on Xbox One. I hope you guys enjoyed the new segment. Uh, let us know what you thought in the comments below, or you can always email us at hangswithrog at gmail.com. If you did enjoy the video, please click that little like button below. And if you haven't yet, you can also subscribe to our channel for, uh, for some weekly content. The next episode of uh, Have You Tried uh, we'll, do, we'll do Inside, which is uh, Play Dead's other game, newest game, which came out last year. Played a bit of that as well, and uh, but we'll save that for next time. Um, until then, enjoy yourself.